Today on Rift Spirits and Gear, we check out the brand new Mjolnir drums from Solemn Tones. I have demoed uh, Solemn Tones' other plug-in, uh, the Odin guitar uh, plug-in, in the past. So I was really curious to see what the drums, the drums uh, VST sounded like. Now, notice I said drum VST. This is its own plugin. This does not require contact, which really had me excited. Now, within that VST, you get simplicity. There's over 1,500 individual samples uh, that go into the uh, Mjolnir kit, and it's just made to be dead, simple, light, heavy and huge, and I like all those things in a plugin. Now, all these drum tones are meant to be near mix ready. So, for example, the only thing I did with the drum mix that you're about to hear is I just set my own balances, and then on my drum bus um, within my DAW, I just added a little compression and a little bit of clipping. That is literally all I did. Um, it's so simple. I like simple. I like as few of knobs as possible to be the most effective as possible. And I really think Solemn Tones nailed it with this drum plugin. So let's see how it sounds in a mix. Next for the playthrough, I'm going to play you just some tones and kind of take you through the plugin as I used it uh, with my mix. Let's do the playthrough. All right, so we are going to check out Mjolnir drums from Solemn Tones. Now, this is where you, when you first open up the plugin, this is what you see. You see the kit and you see a few uh, mixing faders. Now, this is uh, to give you kind of an overall balance right here on the left. You have kick, snare, toms, and cymbals. It's really boiled down to just those four faders, and you can quickly set levels and just go. Now, if you want to dive a little deeper into that, I'm gonna click on this mixing button, and you actually have panning for the individual parts of the kit. The kick, snare, tom, one, two, three, china, crash, uh, both crashes, hi-hat, ride, splash, Etc. Etc. This is also where you would set the level for your room and the direct tone and the actual master volume uh, of the kit. Uh, notice you can also invert the pan, which would mean uh, you're going to sonically hear and change the drum kit from drummer's perspective to listener's perspective. And there's a lot of debate on that. We're not going to get in that on this video but I thought that was a really good feature. So I'm gonna go back to the main view right here, and I'm gonna use the MIDI from the song. I have the, the drums isolated. The only thing I have really going uh, as far as exterior processing is I have a little bit EQ on the drums, a little bit of compression on the kick, and then a little bit of clipping using JST Clip on the drum bus as a whole, just to kind of clip a little bit of everything to give it some glue, if, uh, if I may, uh, and more aggression. So here's how it sounds, and here's how I have it uh, with my own personal tastes.
Okay, these drums sound huge. Um, I like that it's generally just, it's so simple, it's dead simple. And if I wanna go to the routing, um, I can deep dive into the actual MIDI routing and change the output for the MIDI command so I can actually match this if I would like to you know, something uh, with Tune Track MIDI, Steven Slate Drums MIDI, or something like that. And then I can save this as its own preset and then just scroll through the different MIDI settings. Now I'm gonna go back to the main view here and we're gonna go through some of these stock presets. Now let's go to the natural. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it rolling. I'm gonna get the MIDI rolling. I'm gonna play the drums and I'm gonna go through some of the presets so you can kind of hear the different levels and the different flavors that this uh, drum plugin can do. So that's the playthrough for Mjolnir drums from Solemn Tones. Simple, effective, huge, and tight. And for less than a hundred bucks, you just can't beat it. Overall, I think this is a rock solid plugin. Uh, I could see myself using this on the go, or if I want to just get something quick, if I'm in the songwriting mode or something like that. Also, since it's so inexpensive, uh, getting this for multiple band members when you're writing for a record or something like that would also be a huge bonus. And because I love you guys, you can still use the checkout code FLUFF15 for an additional 15% off anything on Solemn Tones' website. Wanted to do that for you guys because, you know what, why not? I'm in the giving mood as it were. All the pickable links down below in the description. You've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.